God bless each and every one of you. We welcome you to the TV program tonight. This is the Word of Power Gospel Hour. I'm the pastor of the Word and Spirit of Life Church. Sometimes I go out and evangelize. And this is a good day to serve the Lord. Can I hear an amen? Amen. I know that there's a lot of turmoil and tribulation going on in the world, but Jesus said, be a good cheer. I've overcome the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even your faith. So if you're walking with Jesus in this time, in this day, and in this hour, and you have faith, he said, your faith would overcome tribulation in the world. Now, if you're out in the world playing, let me tell you something. It says in the book of Acts that in the world you will have tribulation. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Jesus also said over in the book of Acts, he said, through much tribulation we must go through to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Can I tell you something today? My name is Reverend Ronald Davis, and I'm here to preach the truth to people, to get them free. <clears throat> I'm not on here to tell you what you want to hear. If you think I'm on here to tell you what you want to hear, you might as well surf the channel and go on and play because you're playing church. Can I hear an amen? amen? If there's ever a time that we need to hook up and book up with Jesus and get in his book and really get to know him and hook up with him by his spirit, I'm telling you, the end time signs in, in Matthew uh, 24 and in uh, Luke 21 and in Mark 13, they're coming to pass fast. Jesus said, when you see all these signs come to pass, look up for your salvation draws nigh. I'm telling you, Jesus... It's going to come back. But you know what? The church has to finish her job. Over in Matthew 26, Jesus said, This gospel must go into all the world as a witness. Then the end will come. If we would quit sitting in our churches and, and, and fellowshipping with one another instead of going out the doors, the Bible doesn't say, Sit ye in the congregation. It says, Go ye into all the world. Now, if I'm making you mad, I'm glad because I pray I'm challenging you and stirring you in your spirit to do something for the kingdom of God. For too long, the church has set and we fellowship with one another instead of going out in the highways and the byways and compelling them to come in that our Father's house may be full. Can I hear an amen? Amen. It's time we get out of those doors, get up off the pews, get out of our comfort zones, and go from house to house or go into the highways and the byways and compel them to come in. It's like the parable Jesus told them of the father, the father who, who had a supper and he invited the people to come to the supper. Can I hear an amen? amen? He said, when you invite them to come, don't invite those who can repay you back, but to bring in the blind, the halt, the lame. They can't repay you back because your Father in Heaven will pay you back. Can I hear an amen? amen. We need to get out of these four doors, at, at four walls called the church building, and go out in the highways and the byways and compel them to come in. Jesus said, I am come to seek and, lay, and save the lost. I am not come to destroy lives. And I want you to know out there today, Jesus doesn't want to destroy your life. Can I tell you something? If you're not a Christian, even if you are a Christian and you're in sin, you're destroying your own life. Jesus said, I have not come to destroy lives, but I have come to seek and save lives. And that's Amen. what he wants to do today. And that's the work of the church. Jesus said, the works I do, you shall do also. What works did he do? He went from city to city, preaching to people. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He came to seek and save them. And he said, the works he did, we do too. we got to seek and go out in the highways and byways and get them, compel them to come in and get them saved. Amen? Amen. Then he said, when this gospel goes into all the world as a witness, the end will come. We're holding Jesus up and coming back. If we do our job and start testifying, start witnessing to people, Acts 1 he said, you shall receive power if the Holy Ghost has come upon you and, you, and you shall be witnesses unto me. Amen. We're all ministers of reconciliation, it says in Corinthians. Can I hear an amen? Amen. So we need to tell people about Jesus. And if you don't know Jesus today, it's a good day to get to know him. Because in Revelation chapter 20, verse 15 on down, it says the great white throne judgment. When it comes, if your name is not written in the Lamb's book of life, you will be cast into the lake of fire. 
death, hell, and the grave, and all those people that's not born again, saved, will be cast into the lake of fire. God didn't create hell for man. He created it for the devil and his followers. If you want to follow the devil and, and, and you want to live in sin all your life and never give it up, never accept Jesus, you will go to hell. This preacher is here to tell you. God will not change what this word says. The Bible has been canonized. It's been signed by Jesus in his blood. And what he says will be. It will not be changed. Amen. I've heard people say, well, when I stand before the Lord, I ask him if I can be saved then. No, the Bible says different than that. If you're not born again, you'll be cast into hell. And then death, hell, and the grave, the devil and the false prophet and all his followers will be cast into the lake of fire. Can I hear an amen? amen. Hallelujah. I have a message today, a very powerful one. Can I hear an amen? amen. I don't even know if I'm going to have time to get it all in. I pray I do. Let's pray, shall we? If you don't know Jesus out there today, I'm telling you, all the, t all the signs in this Bible are coming to pass. Every day you turn the TV on and somebody's killed somebody. Families killing families. Brothers killing brothers. Police officers killing people. People killing police officers. Amen. Come on. Every day just devastation. Amen. You need to be under the covering of Jesus. Jesus said, I've come to give you life and life more abundantly. Amen. The thief, the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy, John 10, 10, but I've come to give you life and life more abundantly. You need to be under the covering of Jesus in this iron day we're living in. Can I hear an amen? And if you're a Christian, you need to be walking in the covering and walking in the light and not playing in darkness in the devil's kingdom and then getting back in God's kingdom. Can I hear an amen? amen. You need a consistent walk with the Lord. Can I hear an amen? Let's pray, shall we? Father, I pray today that many souls will come forth for your kingdom, Father, many salvation, that they received and grant the word of God that is able to save the soul. I thank you for anointing me now to speak as an oracle of the living God. Father, I just pray today you would meet the needs of the people, whatever they have need of, Father, salvation, whatever it is, healing, deliverance, your blessings, and we'll give you all the glory and praise. Father, I pray your church would set it on fire. That we get out in four walls and get out of our comfort zone and quit playing church and go work church and get people, workers, and bring them in, Father. Go in the highways and byways, compel them to come in. I pray for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit in this city, Father God. In the name of Jesus, I pray a harvest would come in, Father. And we will help you to do our part, Father. You'll do yours if the church does our part. And I thank you today for salvation, healing, deliverance, and for blessing your people, Father, and setting your church back on fire to do what you've called us to do. We give you all the glory and praise in the holy name of Jesus, and we thank you, Father. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. You know, if you don't know Jesus today, you live and learn to curse. Galatians 3.13 says, Curse is he that, that hangeth upon a tree, but Christ has redeemed you from the curse of the law. You're trying to make it out in the world that God is cursed. You can't do it. You need Jesus. He redeemed you from the curse of the, of the law when he hung on the cross at Calvary. Can I hear an amen? amen? If you're tired of being cursed, tired of not making it out in the world, God made it that way that you would come to him, that you would see that you needed him. Can I hear an amen? amen? Hallelujah. And you need him today in the worst way. Hallelujah. If you don't know Jesus, I'll tell you how to get to know him. At the end of this program, I feel the anointing of the Holy Spirit falling right now. God's going to save souls today. Can I hear an amen? amen. Hallelujah. Name this message today. It's a time to war in prayer. It's time for the church to take back what the enemy has stolen. It's time for God's people to fight back, not just sit and not engage the enemy and the devil anymore and let him take and steal from us. Matthew 16, 18 and 19 Jesus told Peter, Upon this rock I'll build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And verse 19, And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, or loosing and binding. These keys can either lock or unlock doors. When you bind the enemy, you lock his door. He can't go through. When you loose heaven, you open the doors of heaven to come through, to be released on earth. God uses angels, so does the devil. Acts 1.8, Mark 16.15-16, Luke 4.19. It talks about we have all been given power over the enemy. I, I don't have time to go through all these scriptures, but I, I write them down. 
write them down. It's important. And go back and study them because I, I have a limited time to get all this in. Amen. Hallelujah. It says he's given us power over all the power of the enemy. We tread on scorpions, serpents, and nothing shall harm us. Can I hear an amen? He gave us amen. power to cast out devils and demons in the authority and the power of his name. Amen? Amen. We have been given power and authority over the devil. If we ignore it and don't use it, he will use his and bind and afflict and captivate us. Amen. John 10.10, 10, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus came to give us life and life more abundantly. He that, John 1, John 1 John 3 8. He that sins is of the devil. For this reason the Son of God was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. John 14 12 says the works Jesus did will do the same works he did. He cast demons out everywhere he went. He got people free. The church needs to quit being ashamed of Jesus and cast demons and devils out of people right in the church. Don't take them in a corner. Don't take them in a back room. Jesus walked in the synagogue. There was a man with an unclean spirit sitting right on the front row in the church of Jesus. Them spirits, because of the anointing of Jesus, cried out, What do we have to do with you? Have you come before our time? And Jesus said, Be quiet and come out of him. Jesus set people free that they could know him and serve him. The church needs to set people free that they can know him and serve him. Can I hear an amen instead amen. of the devil? Amen. He, amen. Just like what I said here in the scripture. Amen. He that sins is of the devil. And for this reason the Son of God was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. The church needs to destroy the works of the devil again. That's what he has anointed us to do. Can I hear an amen? amen? John 14, 12, the works he did we would do also. Only greater works for he goes unto the Father. Amen. We amen. need to be about our Father's business. Doing Jesus' business. What was his business? Saving souls, casting out demons, healing the sick, and blessing people everywhere he went. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power who went about doing good, healing all those that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Go in the book of Acts. Can I hear an amen? amen? We need to be doing the same things. Hallelujah. We need to believe it. Hallelujah. Whew. Hallelujah. It says over there and in John in verse 14, 4, 4, 12, I told you that verse. Verse 13, Whatsoever we ask in his name, he will do it, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Verse 14, If you shall ask anything in my name, demand it, or demand it of the devil, not of Jesus, and command it in his name, he will do it. You're commanding the devil, not the Lord. Nobody can command the Lord. You command it of the devil because Jesus has given us his power and authority to use. Amen? Hallelujah. You have authority in his name. Jesus told him in Luke 19, 13 to occupy until he comes back. To occupy means to hold ground and things you have till he comes. Occupy till he comes back. Don't let the, the devil occupy. It's time for the church to take up their sword and go forth and fight and take land, take ground from the enemy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has anointed us to be warriors. Amen. Hallelujah. He's gifted us with the gifts we need, the gift, the power of the Holy Spirit to occupy till he comes back. To occupy, to go in and take land. Can I hear an amen? amen? Take possession for the kingdom of heaven and take it from the devil. Don't let the devil take from you anymore. You have power and authority over him. Can I hear an amen? It's amen. time to war. It's time to go to war. It's not playtime anymore. It's time to go to war. Can't you hear the heavens, the drums in the heavenly? The war drums. Hallelujah. And God has anointed us to be warriors. Amen. We're more than conquerors in Jesus Christ who loved us and died for us. If we're more than conquerors. You need, you need to start conquering and taking land and occupying for the kingdom of heaven. Can I hear an amen? Hallelujah. Amen. You have power to cast the devil out. You got power to run him out. Amen. Hallelujah. Out of people's lives. Out of your own life. Get him out of your own life first. Yeah. Jesus said, A prince of this world cometh. He has nothing in me. The devil can't have anything in us neither. Can I hear an amen? amen. Hallelujah. Yes. It's the time to go to war. The weapons are warfare. 
Uh, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3 through 5. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God to the pulling down of strongholds. Amen. Amen. Ephesians chapter 6, 10 on down, it says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities, the devil and his cohorts. Can I hear an amen? amen. And um, let me tell you something. You're never going to get rid of the devil. Jesus, when he prayed, uh, whenever he went into uh, Matthew chapter 4, Luke chapter 4, the wilderness to be tempted of the devil, at the end of that temptation, it said the devil departed from him for a season. Amen. Jesus said over in the Garden of Gethsemane, Matthew chapter 26, he told the disciples, he said, pray for me. I'm going through my hardest hour. He said, pray for me. They went to sleep three times. Jesus said, pray for me. The flesh is weak, but the spirit indeed is strong and willing. They went to sleep. What was the reason he told them pray? He said, pray that you enter not into temptation. I'm going to tell you, the devil departed from him for a season, but he came back. You may go through times in your life when there's no adversity. It just seems like nothing but the blessings are flowing and you're walking in a good ground and good land and you're getting everything good's coming your way. And then all of a sudden, guess who comes back? Oh, Slewfoot, don't come back. And he's about to attack because when he comes back, he's, going, he's on the attack. The devil, the, the amen, your adversary, the devil goes about as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Amen. And he'll devour you if you let him. You need to devour him. Hallelujah. Amen. It's time to war, people, not time to play. When you wrestle, that, there's a winner, but you don't get rid of your opponent. You can't kill the devil. He's a spirit. Amen. You've got to resist him. Humble yourself and resist him. Submit unto God and resist the devil and he will flee from you. Over in the book of James. Amen. It's time to war, people. It's not time to play anymore. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The devil is a hard taskmaster. Jesus, the shepherd, leads you in the Holy Spirit. The devil drives you. He pushes you. He takes from you. The Lord blesses you. You need to get mad at the devil and fight and rebuke him. You need to get mad at the devil right now for what he's done to you, tried to do to you, tried what he's tried to take from you. How the first thing he'll try to take is get you in condemnation and take Jesus out of your life. Get Jesus out of the way that you're not walking with him anymore, that you're not serving him anymore. Can I hear an amen? Hallelujah. That's the first thing he'll try amen, to yes. get out of your life with Jesus. And then he'll come in and rob you and steal and kill and try to destroy you. Can I hear an amen? Amen. Devil has no heart. He has no conscience. He comes from one thing. Jesus told us, beware. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But I've come to give you life. You better get to the master of life instead of the master of death. Can I hear an amen? Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus is life. The devil's death. Amen. Sin and death. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Romans 6.23. Amen. Hallelujah. I told you I got a lot to get in. But... Get it in your heart today. Get it settled. The devil's not your friend. And he wants you to sin so he can break your fellowship with God. He can break your walk with God where he can come in and do you in. Can I hear amen. an amen? Don't let him in and do you in. Do him in. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus covers you. Amen. The Bible said in Revelation chapter 12, we overcome by the blood of the Lamb, the word of our testimony, and they love their lives, not until the end. Can amen. I hear an amen? Hallelujah, people. It's a time to war. It's not a time to sit anymore. Too many people in the church want to sit and be blessed. But let me tell you something. Over the numbers, God numbered the, the children of Israel. He told them, all those that's able to take the sword and go to war, go to war. And he told them, he said, if you don't go to war... Some of them got their promised land before they went in to the other lands to conquer them. And he told them, he said, if you will go and fight with your brethren, then you can come back and have your lands after they have conquered theirs. You see, the church needs to pray ye one for another. For too long we have sat back and let the prayer warriors take all the battles on and we want, we want to reap all the blessings. That's not right. It's time for the whole church to pick up their arms and go to war. We've had a few that's picked up their swords and they've been wounded. They've been battered in the battle, in the heat of the battle, amen, while the rest of you sit and you get blessed. 
Moses told him, he said, if you don't go in and fight for your brother and you are not getting your part of the promised land. You see, all the blessings you get is because you sit there and want to be lazy and because the warriors have fought for it for you. It's time for the whole church to pick up their swords and their weapons and go forth and conquer and occupy and take back. Can I hear an amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For too long, we've let too many sit around and take the heat of the battle, and we've sit back and reaped the blessings. That day's over with. You know what? The enemy's going to sift your blessings if you don't go forth and take them yourself and get them and keep them. Jesus told some of the churches in Revelation chapter 2 and 3, hold that which you have gained. Hold that which you have. Keep it. Don't lose it. Amen. Don't amen. let the devil rob it. Don't let the amen. devil steal it. Can I hear an amen? Amen. Hallelujah. For too long, he's stolen our families. He's stolen our finances. He's stolen our jobs. He's stolen our possessions. Hallelujah. My Bible says we are more than conquerors in Jesus Christ who loved us and died for us. Thanks be to God that always gives us the victory in Christ Jesus. Thanks be to God that always causes us to triumph in Christ Jesus. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors in him that loved us and died for us. Along with him, how will he freely give us all things? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But when he gives you all things, he gives them to you for a reason. To keep them. To bless others. And to hold it. Hold, occupy it. I come back. Jesus said, when I come back, will I find faith upon the earth? Will he find a church, his bride, fighting for him? Let me tell you something. There's even women going into the army now. So that just goes to show you, she uh, compared a bride as a woman. Well, there's women in the military fighting now. Hallelujah. <laughs> How you like, man, I'm going to tell you something right now. The bride needs to fight right now because God has equipped us and anointed us. Can I hear an amen? amen? Hallelujah. Like I said, Moses told the people, if you don't go into the promised land, it's over in the book of Numbers. I have it here, but I don't have time to go into it because I want to get this in. He said, if you don't go fight with your brethren, even though you leave your families here, they already possess their land. But he told them they're going across the Jordan. You go and fight for them. You go fight with them. And when they conquer their enemies, then you could go back and dwell in your promised land. You can have it. You see, that's the way it needs to be in the church, too. I'm here to tell you right now. Don't let the few sit here and, and sit in their comfort zones in their homes and sit there in their promised land when the others have got to go fight for theirs. Help them all. God intended for us to help each other. Can yes. I hear an amen? amen? Hallelujah. God intended for everybody to be blessed. But the, the handful that has fought the heat of battle have brought the blessings. It's time for us all to fight to get them and retain them. Can I hear an amen? Amen. He said that after your brothers conquer and run the ice out of the land and they possess their promised land, then you can go back and possess your promised land. God's tired of lukewarm Christians who sit on them pews and that's all they do is want, 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 want. They never give, 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 give. God so loved the world, He gave. He gave His only, only begotten Son. Hallelujah. God gave it all. And He expects something out of you. God didn't withhold nothing back from us. He gave us every blessing in the heavenlies. The Bible says He had blessed us with every blessing in the heavenlies. Amen. Yeah. It's time for the whole church to go on the attack, to occupy, to go win this world for Jesus. Can I hear an amen? Amen. Hallelujah. If you're lukewarm today and you're sitting on them pews and you've never done nothing, you've never fought, you've never prayed. You see, Jesus said, pray that you enter not into temptation. I want to tell you something today. You need to get on your knees and start praying. We need to get into some spiritual warfare. And we need to occupy and take land and conquer for the Lord before he comes back. This gospel must go into all the world. And then the end will come. We need to get it out there. We need to compel them to come into the church. That our Father's house may be full. Can I hear an amen? Amen. Oh, hallelujah. You love the Lord today? Amen. If you don't know Jesus today, you're living under the curse. You're trying to make it out there in a the world that God cursed. The only way you're going to make it, and I'm here to tell you, is to come to Jesus because he redeemed and he took that curse for you. Galatians 3.13 if you're tired of your life going the way it is, every time you get ahead, something happens. You get sifted. 
Amen. Come on. I know what it's like. I lived on both sides of the fence, out in the world and then for Jesus. Amen. Every time I get blessed and get ahead, the devil is sifted. You being sifted today? He got you in bondage. You can't get free and you want to be free? I want to tell you, Jesus has set you free today. Just say, Lord Jesus, I ask you and invite you to come into my heart to be the Lord and Savior of my life. You said in Romans chapter 10, verse 9 through 12, that if I confess in my mouth and believe in my heart unto righteousness that Jesus died was raised on the third day and I invite you into my heart to live, that I will be saved. Say, Lord Jesus, right now, forgive me my sins. I give, I give them to you. And I ask that you come and live in my life and help me live it now. I confess you as Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, I will walk with you now. I will serve you. If you said that, get him to a church where he leads you. The Bible says the Holy Spirit leads you where you need to go. The Holy Spirit sets you within the body. Go where he tells you and you will grow. And you'll be blessed. Can I hear an amen? You just made heaven and missed hell. You've been sitting on them church pews and you ain't been praying. You have been not doing nothing for the kingdom of God. It's time that you fight for your brethren that you can possess your own possessions and blessings. Can I hear an amen? It's time for you to help your brethren fight that they can possess their promised land. You so that you can possess your promised land like Moses told them in the Bible. Things haven't changed. Can I hear an amen? If you don't know Jesus today, I'm telling you. He'll change your life and He'll set you free. And He will bless you. Can I hear an amen? There's a heaven to be won and a hell to be shunned. If you ask Jesus into your heart to be your Lord and Savior today, you just may have a walk with Him, live for Him, and serve Him. Can I hear an amen? Mm -hmm. If you're lukewarm and you're not done nothing for the church, today is the time to get busy. Can I hear an amen? And get out there and take up this world for Christ. Can I hear an amen? Amen. Mm -hmm. We love you, and we're on here for people in this city. I'm not here to, to be seen. I'm on here to be heard for God. Can I hear an amen? Amen. Uh, by the way, I've just written four books. If you'd like to email us or write, I have some books that I've written. I think they're pretty good because the Holy Spirit gave them to me. Can I hear an amen? And I'll tell you more on that further. God bless you. We love you, and we love this city. We'll see you next program.